My name is Kate Krieger. I live in Madison. And my question is, can stem cells be used to repair brain damage or to help somebody with Alzheimer's, dementia, or Parkinson's? Hi, I'm Craig Atwood uh, from the Department of Medicine at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I'm also a research scientist uh, down at the Veterans Administration Hospital. The answer to the, uh, the, the question is, is simple. Uh, the answer is yes. Um, it is possible to uh, regenerate uh, parts of the brain just uh, like other organs. Stem cells are finding great utility in the uh, regeneration of various tissues and although this is not uh, possible in humans at this point, uh, animal models have uh, clearly demonstrated that uh, the injection of stem cells into the hippocampus, for example, can restore uh, memory in uh, transgenic models uh, of Alzheimer's disease and also in models of uh, Parkinson's disease. Uh, stem cells are also being used for um, treatments uh, in traumatic brain injury where uh, regions of the brain have been uh, knocked out and so the injection of stem cells into, into regions that are damaged has allowed for the repopulation of uh, those areas and the uh, return of, of function such that uh, cognitive performance uh, has been shown to increase. It's well known that as we age, sex hormones uh, decline and those declines uh, lead to cognitive uh, problems. So another way of, of uh, getting at Alzheimer's disease and improving cognitive performance is to actually um, increase uh, our sex hormone levels. And the way that we can do this with stem cells is to repopulate the gonads to, uh, with the cells that normally produce uh, these hormones and in so doing uh, get uh, what is known as the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis back into balance and that will also uh, help to improve our cognitive performance uh, as we age. There are a lot of experiments where uh, animals have been injected with various hormone combinations to improve their cognitive performance and likewise hormone replacement therapy has been shown to improve cognitive performance. So I anticipate uh, over the next decade a lot of research will be performed to uh, try and um, bring this uh, new and I think very exciting uh, possibility to fruition.